Hey everyone, welcome back. The Long Dark. <laughs> right where I left off, it's been a... I guess it's been four or five days since I played last. Being that I'm playing two series, and I play like two episodes for each one, it works out pretty good. It's now Sunday night, and the last time I played was like Thursday. So I get Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, just to do real life stuff. It's good to be back in here. All right, so a couple things I found out. Um, here's the lead. So it's only so that battery went from 30 pounds to 3.3. I don't think I'm gonna haul lead from here, but I found out from Raven that there are two ammo benches in the world now. One is down here in the Bleak Inlet, and this is where I was making my ammo before. And to get in there, you need a code. And the code is in a radio tower, like either in the ravine or going from the ravine into the Bleak Inlet. I've actually gotten into Bleak Inlet from Mystery Lake through the ravine and also through Forlorn Muskeg, which brings you in over here. But I've been to that radio tower and I'd gotten that code before and I made ammo there. We're not going down here, we're going up here. So the other ammo bench apparently is in Black Rock Prison. And to get its code, it's like the last prospect gold mine. And I looked it up and it says it's in the northeast part of Black Rock is the mine. So somewhere, once you're in here, you got to go find that mine to get the code. But then you could make ammo here. So currently we're at the Broken Railroad. Ultimately, we want to make our way... My plan is this, is to go Broken Railroad, Mystery Lake, to the dam, right? Try and find the gun in there. Then through the winding river, there's a winding river that goes to Pleasant Valley. Then across Pleasant Valley into Timberwolf, set up there, and get into Ash Canyon, find that gun, and then ultimately go up to Black Rock. Or, depending, I guess, on my ammo count, I might go to Black Rock first. You know, if I need to make ammo. But what we're going to do in here where we're at is instead of just last episode, I know was a, if I remember right, was a lot of walking, right? It was a meaty's walking simulator. So today, instead of going up that way and over, we're going to try and make our way up to this cabin, which could be a huge mistake because I know for a fact that there's a bear over here. And there was six wolves the last time we tried to walk this way. If I remember right, you walk straight ahead, you run into the lake, and then you go off that way and, ar and around. Now, last time we were here, there were six wolves right here. We couldn't even come out that fence. And I remember there's a bear down here roaming around. Like, the problem is... The problem is, you can't... Alright, there's the wolves. I think I need to get that way. There's like three... Oh, there's a fourth. There's four... The, I think the six wolves that I saw are down at the lake. So the place I'm trying to get to is up... It's possibly up there. It overlooks this area deer like I literally I literally just jumped in and started playing I hope I'm my uh, my bear sensing skills are on point I wouldn't mind visiting that little hunter's blind over there right there yeah the the place I, is somewhere up there but you got to go across that little bridge there for sure oh you yeah. Oh, Jesus. So many sounds. So many sounds. For some reason, I'm remembering a gate there that I needed a code for. Oh, no. Or was it a pry bar? Or was it bolt cutters? All right, we're going to watch out. I know there's a bear here somewhere. I remember seeing the bear, like, right there. 
All right, I'm gonna put my gun away so I don't pop off around accidentally. Cause look, the search function and shoot is the same thing. It's it's left uh, <laughs> left click. So, how's my knife doing? We're at a hundred percent. We don't need that knife. It's possible the bear could be up farther. But I hope I can get through this gate. I guess if we can't, we just we don't. But this um, I remember this like it's a it's. It's not a cabin, it's like a lodge, meaning it's big, and it's got, either it has a upstairs or a basement. Yeah, see that gate's closed. That gate is closed. It gets real narrow up through there too. Can I open it? Oh yes, okay. What if I close the gate and the bear's on this side? Rip meaty. Rip playthrough. I was actually just watching... It's funny. Les Stroud Survivor Man. I don't know if you guys ever saw it. It's old series, but it's on YouTube, actually, now. He's got it on his own YouTube thing. And he took some... He was in Norway. He took some of this stuff that was underneath a, a wagon. Not a meat wagon, but a wagon. And he used it for fire starter. And it looked just like that with the snow and everything. Man, it's pretty crazy. I, you know what I appreciate. I don't know if you, like I said, I don't know if you guys have seen. It's called Survivor Man, and it ran multiple seasons. And he would go out in the middle of nowhere and survive for seven days, and then like, I think by season three, he started doing ten day survivals, showing you, you know, like he would simulate a plane crash, simulate a canoeing trip gone wrong, a car breaking down, all kinds of stuff. But what really got me seeing that I make outdoor YouTube videos is, I'm really nervous about a bear, is that he was out there and he was filming it all himself. There was no one with him. There was no crew. And if you've ever tried it, like, look, if I'm, say I'm in my car driving down here, right? You gotta go walk ahead, set up a camera right there, walk back to your car, get in your car, drive by the camera, right? Drive by the camera far enough to where the sound goes away, stop, get out, walk back to your camera, pick it up, walk back to your car, and that's like a three second shot. Three seconds in the, uh, in the edit. Like you would ne you never some a lot of people do, but you never hold a B roll shot like that for more than like three to five seconds. So it's called Mystery Lake Lodge. What? We're not in Mystery Lake. All right. So we got two wolves here. I don't really want to waste any bullets, and I don't... I, I'm not still not 100% sure that a gunshot will scare them off, but if a flare does, you'd think a popping off a gunshot would. Look at that lodge. Canadian flag welcoming the meaty. Anyway, the point I was making with the Survivor Man thing is what really impressed me even more so than the crazy survival stuff he was doing was that he was filming it all himself. And this was back when the cameras were crap. Like, he had to have these huge, like, handy cams, you know, these big, gigantic cameras, and he'd walk around and do all this setup, and he would use multiple cameras, and he would, like, say he had to walk that way. He would walk all the way up there, set up a camera to show, like, a, a wide-angle shot of him walking all this way. Then he would walk back up and get the camera. Wow, how loud is that dude right there? All right, we're going in. That's what impressed me the most. Because that is no easy task. All right, so this place has the biggest... Look at this. That's like six cooking spots there. All right, now we need to look close. Ooh, what's this? Wait. Wait. Oh, I guess we are bolt action, huh? We are bolt action. Okay. So there's there's a rifle here. I don't know if you guys are... Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I better put my pistol away before I pop off around. 
Oh yeah. This is what I I always thought there was some ammunition to be found up here. So oh, there's an upstairs and a downstairs. So I was right, kind of. A firewood bin. There's firewood. I left it in there for now. Nice. This is a good place here. Oh, that's what we needed. Oh, look at that. I'm going to take that and just bring it upstairs. We left a mountaineering rope. I mean, I could bring it back to the uh, to the place. I just don't know if we're going to need any. So we got a workbench here. This place is pretty nice. Like, And the amount of wolves around... Like I said, if you needed to do one of those somehow survive, say, I don't know, 10 days or something. Like 10 days survival or something. Like I, I was trying to remember, we talked about maybe in the last episode, if you're going to sit at one location, maybe you have a bunch of books to read. Maybe you're trying, I don't know, whatever. You, this is a good place. I mean, all this stuff like this, w there's a lot of wood down here you can recycle to burn. So you got fire. You got a good place for the camp fire. There's we found a few bullets. Oh. Rifle ammo. Yep, yep, yep. I knew there was stuff here. Cardboard, all that stuff. You could collect wood, put it in here, but you got enough wolves outside to where you could uh get meat, right? You could be here for a while if you really wanted to. Huh. <laughs> Ten rounds. <laughs> this is a win. This was worth it coming over here, right? Let's see what's upstairs. Maybe some beds or a bed. Oh, so nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember this now. Oh. Right? I mean, after all, it is a lodge, like a hunting lodge. Why wouldn't you have bullets and stuff everywhere? Look at this, a nice big trunk. Okay. The warmest sweater around, inspired by the traditional sweater of the First Nations of Vancouver. Well, you know what? I will, oh my God. Two jackets in there, a book on sewing. I'm gonna check that sweater against the ones that I am wearing. There's another one right there. You could actually double them up. Decent t-shirt. This tells you this place is really good. Nice bed to sleep in right there. It's the ear things I need, not the scarves, right? I'm pretty sure it's the ear... All that stuff, I'm not. I'm not actually picking that stuff up. Magnifying glass. All that's wood. You could break down in metal if you needed metal. Okay, not a lot in this room. Okay, I'm just looking for bullets laying on the ground. Every bullet counts. So it looks like like this room here. Nice bed to sleep on. I'm going to check that sweater. All right. So that sweater we picked up is four. It's almost at 100%. So compare it against the fisherman sweater, which I always thought was really good. What do we have here? Thin wool sweater at 1.8. So, everything's better but the weight on that. And the Fisherman one is not bad. Four point four three point. It's still better than that. So, I think maybe I'll switch it out with this guy. There we go. Nice and warm. Now, there is another one right here. It's at 59% though. I think we're good with one of those. And all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the other one I just took off, put it in here. 
So, so we aren't wearing everything. We have two pairs of pants, a spare set in case they get attacked. It's 1.65 pounds, so I don't know. I think I've been holding on to it up to this point, so I think I'll keep holding on to that. A Zap Energy Ball. So this is where you would sleep, either here or in this room. This is a pretty cool place, right? Pretty cool lodge. Oh, there's another room over here. Oh, it's a bathroom. It's a bathroom. I already got a cooking pot. Take the water. Metal. Looking around for bullets. Yeah, if if I was like in this this game, it was real life. You know what I would do? I would live, I would live at my mystery land, uh, mystery lake um, cabin. You know why? Because the lake is there for fishing. It's centrally located in the region, so if you did have to, and I'm talking about real life stuff. If you had to venture off, rifle, if you had to venture off, look, you can make a fireplace or this. Ooh, maple syrup, delicious. If you had to venture off, you're centrally located, right? I mean, you, you might be like, well, I live in the dam. Well, no, you're away from the lake then, right? Yeah, I would definitely stay there. That's where I would try and survive. Because you could use the whole area for hunting and, and fish. And then it's got the stove, it's got beds, it's got everything. Pretty good. All right, so two things. We could stay here and... Um, see, I'm thinking I'm going to bring the mountaineering rope back. Let me make sure of something here. There we go. See, there's a... Oh, there's the thing here. Let's do that. Let's, um... Let me drop the rope right now. Just so we can get that 11 pounds back. And let's see if we can go find that thing. Okay. I was gonna say, I'll, I'll bring that back down to, uh... From here, you know, we walk around this way across this bridge, leave it here with the other one. That way, if I ever do need to come back to it, I basically just have to get across the, uh, the muskeg. Oh, I put the rope back, but I might need it. So it's saying there's a, oh, right there. So there's a climbing point right here. I might actually need to use that rope. So here's the climbing point. There's the bridge. There's the bear. Now looking at this, we are here. We're looking down here and that's that cache. It's the it's a bear cave. Wow. Bear that's too far away for me to shoot right now. But isn't that the other lake right there? Like if I'm here, I'm looking here. Now I'm looking this way. There's the lake. There's the there's the other place. I guess it's a shortcut, but you'd have to walk across where all the wolves are. Hmm. What to do? What to do? What to do? All right. No battery. Oh, I feel like I'm sitting real close in here. Oh, shoot. 
right, one shot scared it. One shot scared it, so that was good. I've been picking up my brass the whole time, pretty much. Another cache right there. Another cache. So that's here. I don't know if that's like walk this way to it or this way to it. Interesting. Now, have we checked any of those, like, to see if they're even viable? Like, is it worth going? Why, it's nice weather out today. I know you guys want me to go fight that bear. I know you do. You want, you want me to fight the bear, but if I die, that's the end of the series, man. What did that last bear take? It did the merry-go-round on me, the last bear. But man, it took like six, six or eight shots. Deploying rope. Oh my God, it's over there now. See, I knew there was a bear around that lake, but now they got it. It looks like they got it back here. Not good. That's why they put the mountaineering rope up there to deploy it here. Please tell me that that's not a second bear, because if there's a bear over here still. What is over there? There's wood or something over there. keep forgetting it doesn't show where I'm at on the map. Lockbox with the key. Ten rounds of that. Another revolver. A Mackinac jacket. Okay. We're pretty heavy. I want to know what this, like, wood thing I see over here is. See it right there? What I'll do is I'll put the pistol, that other pistol, at the, uh, you know, my storage stuff I have over here. The good thing about that is, like, this region, you could use that as your place. Like, you know how I say you get a place in each region? Because that's the way up to... Mountain from here, you're here. You go up to Mountain Town, up to Hush River Valley. So, it's just an old place. I'm hoping that I'm not like running into the other side of where the bear goes. Remember, there's a whole boatload of wolves here, too. I've never went this way.
prime point there. Oh, there's hopefully that thing's frozen. So I think the lake is there. So we need to go through these trees. in this region. Now that other cache is supposed to be over there somewhere. But I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if it's on this side or off the railroad side. So let's go drop this stuff off that we got. We encumbered us a bit. Alright, so in here we got that Mackinac jacket. And I think that was it in here. We got the 30 pistol. And what else? What else did I pick up? I don't think anything else. So this pistol here is at 70. Uh, that's why I wanted the firearm cleaning kit. Those are good. All right. So we're back here now. And that other thing is... It actually looks like... Well, it could be either way. It depends on what's right here to get to this. I guess we could try it quickly because it's we still got daylight left. Let's see if we can get over there real quick. Hopefully not find the bear over here because I tell you, he makes a lap through this region. He makes a lap through this reef. See, it might be up on the cliffs, which then would be from the tracks up top on our on our escape out of this area. Now those birds should be that deer carcass that was on the uh on the map. Oh shoot. You saw him lay his ears back even though he didn't make the the whimpering sound. All right, I'm guessing it's up there. Look, we're at the deer carcass right here. It's up there. So I'm thinking it's from the railroad side. I'm thinking it's from the railroad side. I mean, if you like were looking around and you found it, you wouldn't have the key unless you came in here to get the lockbox. And the key for this one, I think was in a car up there. It's like in reverse, you know? Or maybe it was in a car in here. That was it. It's great weather right now, though, right? No stormies. All right. Well, let's see. We're getting close on time. Let's go inside. It's a little safer in here. So I could I could read my book. Pass some time. And everything that's in here, with the exception of these, I mean, we know that we have two ropes here. I would add a third, but I, la I laid that other one down. And this stuff, I'm, I'm counting on the fact that I'll find some other battery somewhere else. But again, this isn't that far. This isn't that far. See, we're here, right? Well, it would be pretty far if we were way up here and had to come all the way back. I wouldn't do that. But from the Mystery Lake to get back across Forlorn, yeah, you know, I'm really just uh, talking crazy because would you really come back that far for something like that you left behind? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, let's 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 just see how long we can read this for until it goes dark. Oh, wow, it let us read the whole thing. I'm going to just drop it so I know. Uh, before we go to sleep, we should probably... 
This is all food here, right? Yeah, the, interesting that the maple syrup is only food, yet these are food and water. I find that interesting. Even though I grabbed that water, we're still right on my edge to where I think we're going to need to make water. All right, so I eh, could probably get away with 11 hours. Sleepy. Sleepy. So I say in, in no more dilly dally. We know that there's a rifle here, right? We know that there's a, a rifle here. And there's you know, still clothes and stuff up here. We know that I have basically what I'm leaving here is what I left before is some clothes. And the reason I say clothes is if I do get attacked, they'll rip up my clothes. I should be able to repair most of them, but we got clothes, we got a pistol and some lead, some coffee, no tea, and the coffee doesn't work for the thing. So I'm not really leaving anything behind of, of big value, right? Uh, it's still kind of dark, so what I'm going to do while we're waiting is I am going to take this guy and clean it. Cleaning it, I find, makes it, and this, I'm just guessing here, but it makes it more accurate, it seems. I think I had a gun one time that kind of semi-jammed on me. Ninety percent, we'll do one more. That's good. And it should be nice and light. So right now, as far as weight goes, we're good. We will, uh, let's, uh, take this guy. I mean, it's a good start to the day, right? And take this guy. Second, it takes two. 0.45. All right, we've got to keep an eye on that. Drop that. I think we're I think we're ready to go. Let's try and at least in this episode we'll get out of here. It's possible. Uh, my goal is see if I can make it across Forlorn. So in the next episode, ooh, I don't know what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going to the dam. If I can get back to Mystery, get to my cabin. Now see, I find I find that that's like my favorite place to really drop stuff off because getting back to the central part of the map is not that big of a deal. But say, say I want to know, say I know I want to make ammo, right? Well, obviously the stump remover and the dusting powder, I want to collect and carry with me no matter what. The lead, the lead's kind of the tricky one. So as I get closer, maybe one region away, I'm always going to be looking for lead, but at like one region away, say I'm in Pleasant Valley, then I'll keep the lead on me and head up there. Because you know, that's a weird thing about survival with me, even in real life. Like I like to take a lot of stuff, especially in the car. You know, I like to take a lot of things. And in real life, you're just, you can't, you can't weigh yourself down so much to where you're, you know you're you're basically going to uh like either exhaust yourself or kill yourself i don't know if we're going to be able to get to that cash but we'll take a look so this is the locomotive engine up there so we're here so somewhere as this bends around we got to look for a way to go left maybe a climbing point You know what? It might be in between me and that train car right now. Let's open this up and see what's going on here, where we're at. I think it's up farther. I think it's up farther. 
Here's the reishi mushrooms here. That's this. Maybe up there? I'm talking about that, the other cache. Cache. Maybe up here? far huh. it's possible it's possible that it was that other side you know that I needed to go like out and around like from here maybe I needed to go like out and around like this and then come to it it's definitely possible because I'm not seeing I'm not seeing a way over there from here the next place. Well, right up here we can do another charcoal drawing. Hmm. Yeah, it's right it's right up there. I think it is the other side. I think the idea was to come to here and then go out like towards this bridge maybe and you had to come around to it. Because you definitely couldn't walk here. This was a cliff's edge. So I don't think we're going to get to that cache. Unfortunately. So this is the blockade. And like I said before, I was able to kind of glitch across this. But we came up that way. Let's see if we can get up it this way. If you're going back, you can. Now I have the ice cleats too. Because I was able to actually walk across it, but they it seems like they patched that part out. Yeah, right there, that little drop right there, you used to be able to kind of work your way around it. Oh, you still can. I think you need I think you need these spikes to yeah. You need those spikes to do it. Or maybe it's this one here. Oh, I think it's that one. I think they I think they grooved it out a little bit more. Either way. Some wolfies in there. All right, so just up to that mountain ahead, we transition in Forlorn. We got to go straight across Forlorn, ignoring all the bears. Now, in the middle of it, if we headed off that way in Forlorn, you can actually get to the Bleak Inlet and make ammo there. So this really isn't that far from, from that route. I think I found that I like going the other way, though, through the ravine. Now, the ravine, if I remember right, it's got one of the longest... Rope climbs. OMG, it's long. Like, I think it had two little ledges for you to take a break on. <laughs> two, not one, two. It is a long one. And then there's another long one by the the tower where the key code is for the uh, workbench. I think there's another long one there. That's one I had to sleep. I had to sleep with a bear rug at the base of the rope climb just to have enough energy to climb the rope because I did fall off it once. I don't, I don't recommend that. I don't recommend falling off a rope flat onto your back. All right, so forlorn, you go straight across. Now there is stuff in here and I did go, I think there's a, there's a cabin or something off that way. Remember if it had anything good in it. Right now, our goal obviously is to get to the dam to see one of these new rifles. And what we'll do is we'll use that rifle, right? And we'll leave our other one behind. That's why I didn't put a clean on it. It's still pretty good. I think it's 88. And then as we find the other rifles, we'll try them. So over here, I believe. 
there is like a cabin and one's up on the hill. Some stuff there. But over in that corner there somewhere is like a cave. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sitting here being like a dang tour guide. And I got Smokey the Bear coming up my backside. What the deuce? Use your eyeballs, man. And of course, he decides to walk parallel with the tracks. And stop. Look, this game is <clears throat> a lot about conserving ammunition. <laughs> Sound like a good excuse. Why not to pop off some rounds at him? But even if I... Wow, he usually, usually he's up there. There's a hunter's blind right there. Can I even get across here? Do I have to go this way? Are they already over my head anticipating a dead body? Really? Really? It's like exactly where... That's my path. Yeah, I could go out there and go around, but... One of the shortest distance between two points is a straight line in the opposite direction. I guess while this bear walks the tracks like I was going to do, we'll go out here. I think that usually this is his area out here. Maybe we'll find some bullets. You know, I like the... See, there's a tower up there. There's a place up there. There's a place up there. I think in Wintermute, isn't it? Wintermute, you actually have to do stuff with these towers or something. All right, so let me put my gun away. An old Polaroid. There's text scribble in the back on the Forlorn Muskie Vista. Okay, so... Yeah. So there's the Vista location. Now the Vista locate. Oh, we're out of that storm lantern. I oh, shouldn't have taken my eyes off that bear. Oh, there he is. Uh, he's doubling back. So let's go this way. I think it's in winter mute. Oh shoot! Oh no! This is where I fell into the ice before. Was in forlorn. Oh my god, that was stupid. I think it's Wintermute story mode where you actually, when you're in here, that's how I got to see a lot of the stuff. Is because you had to, um, you had to go to each of these towers and find something, turn something on. Wow, I am not happy about being out here. That was the first time. Huh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. If I remember right, it decides whether you're going to fall through or not. There's no, oh, I ran across it and I'm fine. It decides if you're going to fall in. Anyway, the first time I fell through was out here. So I guess this warm weather... Is wreaking havoc on the frozen marshlands of the Forlorn. Muskegee. I tell you, this is the long section. From there to these cars is the long section. But yeah, out of out over there is how you get down to bleak. But again, I don't There's something about this region for this forlorn that I don't it's not for me. A lot of wolves, a lot of bears, a lot of ways to fall through the ice. Now, I hope my, I think my theory on the pistol scaring the wolves doesn't work for timber wolves. So I left, 
Wow. I left. Yeah. <coughs> Let's just get it out of the way now. I left all the marine flares in the hangar. But you know what? <laughs> Whether it's in game or in real life, I don't like relying on a flare. Even if the bullets don't, if the pop of the gun doesn't scare them, then I'm shooting to kill them, you know? Hey, oh, I got a flare. Hopefully this is going to save me. There, another bear wanders the area over there. I know that. Here my my clicky clankies. I wonder if that wears them out if I'm running on metal. Did I just hear something like a bear? We haven't looked at... See, this, this barrel here, this is what it's all about. What's that? Made it this far, left you some gear. Okay, Thank, thanks. Or wait, is that, you think that might be? Oh yeah, there it is. I don't know exactly where we're at right now. So we're here. Oh, it's, it's on the, wait, that's the way I came from. We're going this way. Oh, too bad, so sad. Oh, and that... Yeah, no way I'm going over there, that Vista location. So my sleeping bag's at 93. I don't need to worry about this one. Oh, like I said, there's another bears region over here. You guys thought I was full of it. semi pinched by these bears I need to get down there wouldn't it be something if the bear got scared off now that bear did a little glitchiness there and so did the other bear behind me and it's like the merry-go-round bear you know he's glitching right there oh oh Maybe he's falling through the ice. Dude, are you just... Oh my god, he's just doing circles. Well, shnikes. Really don't want to use my ammo. You're trying to force me to walk out on that thin ice. I know what they're doing. He's going to get up on the dang tracks and walk where I need to. I need to go right down there. He's got a big butt. Oh, he's glitchy as all get going on the tracks, which means if I was fire, why do I feel like one of those insomnia fogs are going to come on right now? I'm trying to be smart about this, and I, I don't feel like I'm being that smart because as long as he stays the way he's going, as slow as he's going, this is going to take forever. I need him to cross the tracks and go that way or go back out that way. I feel like if, if I shoot him and he starts like, you know, you know how the humps in the track with the snow, he's going to be glitchy and my bullets aren't actually going to hit him. Tempting fate with the bear right now. Come on, man. Just, you need to, you need to do a, a perpendicular line away from my tracks, please. Look at it. I had I had tracks like that up around my camp the other day. They weren't that big. They were pretty big. That's what I need him to do to walk. Perpendicular, not parallel. I 
It would be cool <laughs> if I was out here and we engaged and he pushed me through the ice. That would be awesome. All this to save bullets. I've lost sight of them, which is never a good thing. Nike's right there. I might be able to loop up and over this instead of walking down to that channel real close to him. I'm not sure. It's pretty rocky up here. He's walking away. I'll try it. I'm supposed to be down at the tracks, but I know there's one more way to walk in here, so... Yeah, we're good. Alright, save bullets. Aren't you proud? Aren't you proud? So with the warm clothes that I have on, when I go to spring, you see that big, like, the quarter of the way is red? That's from the, the heavy clothes that I'm wearing? The penalty? But what are you going to do? Like, wear jogging suit like Guns does when, you, when we go out in the forest? You'd be lightweight, you could run, but you're going to freeze to death. You know, put two and two together, brother. Jogging suit. <laughs> he comes from Canada and he wears jogging pants when we go to the forest and wonders why he's cold. All right. Give me the transition to Mystery Lake. Leaving Forlorn. Yes. And we be home, baby. I like to call this area home. So, I'm heading back to the uh, my little place. Let's think ahead here. What are we going to do next episode? We're going to go down to the dam, right? And we're going to try and find this uh, oh, one of the new rifles, hopefully. I've got, I think I have some locations that was sent to me to look like while inside there. They sound like under the stairs in the transition. It's like pretty hidden places, it sounded like. And then after that, I'm going to have to decide. I guess I could leave my other gun there. And not just, Would I walk back here to... No, there's no reason to. Is I leave a gun in one of the lockers there, and it'll be fine. So, right up here is my place. Let's see what time... Yeah, I'll probably, uh, probably stay the night here. Not that it's actually... I think the dam area, there's no fires in the dam. There might be a fire barrel farther into it. I don't know. But I do have to bring up the other thing, figure out where it's at. So, all right. That's going to do it for this one, you guys. I am here at my place. If you don't know where I'm at, it's literally, you see how the telephone wire is going to the right? It's right there. It's actually closer than that. It's right around the corner here. How about show us instead of describing it? Okay, it's right here. Look for the Canadian flag. There it is, right there. My home sweet home. This would be my main home because look. Right here. Oh, well, actually, we're right about here. Right above this lake. We're right there. It's pretty, it's about the most centralized you can get in the whole region. Now, hopefully, it's been a long time, but I, I'm, if I remember right, go in here instead of stand outside like an idiot if i remember right we go from here the dam is here before you go to the ravine and you end up going this way to a place called winding river and i think we go through a cave into pleasant valley yeah i don't know it's like black rock is over here it looks like black rock this is where the plane crash i think is in pleasant valley so i'm thinking it's two different sides of the valley to go. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. All right, you guys hit the old like button. Join me next episode.